Hi again, this is Helen Linda with the second presentation of week two of the D4L content creation module. Let's talk about storyboarding and scripting content. Once you've fully explored your topic and have textual and possible visual notes, it's time to generate a complete script and storyboard. One of the most common tools to use is PowerPoint or other presentation software. You can use the notes panel to hold the narrative script you generate from your textual notes and create the visual interest in the slide frame. In fact, that's exactly how I created the script and storyboard for this content about scripting and storyboarding. <laughs> in this picture, you see actual slides from the D4L community module in the PowerPoint slide sorter view. This allows you to easily move your storyboard elements around until they make a logical progression, which will be important when you start to chunk your content into right-sized portions. In truth, your storyboard will likely form the basis of the recording draft, especially if you're going as far as generating scripts and choosing visual components in the same tool as you're planning the content in. When I use PowerPoint to storyboard for D4L content, I often developed script and sculpt visual elements within it, which means that much of the storyboard eventually becomes the recorded content. As you can see in this screenshot, there are challenge questions and vocabulary included in the storyboard, but when we record this, those slides will form the basis of the content in Moodle. So they will be trimmed out of the recording draft until we're left only with the slides we want to record into video content. Having it all in one place to start makes it easy to make those choices at the end. If you need a more structured way to get started, there are lots of templates and tools online, like this one that you can adapt to suit the content you're planning to make. A template can also be a low-tech way to organize your content if you're not ready to dig into technology yet. Storyboarding is especially helpful for large, multi-step projects or when you need to get reviewers to sign off or provide feedback on the design and development of content. Some storyboards also indicate where there are interaction points or places where the learner is expected to respond. You might write a description of what each part will show in addition to the script so that you know the reviewers are imagining the right visuals. Those notes will also help you select visual elements when you're ready. The complete storyboard will help you know how many slides of content you're going to be creating or where you're planning to use dynamic elements like webcam recordings, screencasts, or animations. The complete script will allow you to read aloud for flow and timing. If you find the content is too long, seeing it laid out in this way will help you chunk it into smaller bites. And if freehand is not your style, there are lots of apps and tools you can use to create flowcharts, mind maps, outlines, lists, and full storyboards online or on your device of choice. Check out the resource list for this lesson for some free options to try. Pulling together your storyboard and script can seem daunting. Here are some tips to help you organize and visualize the content. Right now, you're working from all the notes, but taking your audience and objectives into consideration now will help you decide how detailed to get. Is what you're drafting too deep a dive? Not deep enough. If there's too much information, remove it. If not, add it. Establishing a timeline or progression once you've adjusted the level of detail helps you know that now that you have the exact right content, you're going to present it in the right order. Identify the key scenes or ideas and then try to front load your content so the more important information comes first. Don't bury the lead. Fine tuning the content of your storyboard not only makes a more professional display piece, it also gets you one step closer to polished content that you will actually present. At the end of the storyboarding process, be sure it's presentation ready. Finalize the storyboard by getting buy-in and agreement from stakeholders and decision makers. You will feel a lot less pressure about the outcome if there are no surprises.